what word do you all use? Fiance, okay. yeah. usually, or because you can't use the word husband. I just think partner's the strangest word. Yes. Yeah. Because I meet now, I meet grown businessmen, and he's like, "This is my partner, Jim," and I don't know if they're in business, business together, together right? or if they're a gay couple, or they're cowboys. Or they're cowboys. <laughs> Yeah. You stole my punchline. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Did you ever at any point, because I've read that you both have dated women, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good times. And good times. Yeah. <laughs> were you, were you, that's, explain that to me, because, you know, I, I have a gay friend who said that the only way you could have sex with a woman if a man's picture was on the headboard. Wow. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> that's classy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did you go out? Did you date? Did you? I dated a fair amount. I didn't really feel like I'm a liar and I'm gay and I'm doing this and I wish I wasn't, but I did feel like it wasn't clicking like it was supposed to and uh -huh. I kept wondering if it was me, was it By dating, our... I mean you actually like had sex with uh, girls. Yeah. Yeah, and you too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So did you think you were bisexual or is there such no, a thing? No, I think, you know... Uh, with the Kinsey scale, I don't yeah. know if you're familiar yeah, with that. Of course I am. I've done the Oprah show. <laughs> Hello. The what? Touche. I, I, <laughs> wait a second here. <laughs> no, but I think there is a, a raging <laughs> scale funny. of sexuality. Yes. And I think you can go to one side or another. So tell me, w would you have come out when you came out had it not been for Perez Hilton? Did he? Um, well, probably not that at the at that time. day. Yeah. But I certainly felt it was an inevitability yeah. at that time. In 2006, celebrity blogger Perez Hilton accused Neil of living in the closet and publicly tried to out him. In response, Neil released a simple statement saying he was a very content gay man and living life to the fullest. We would go to How I Met Your Mother events together. Right. Um, and everyone knew David and that we were a couple, so I wasn't hi hiding anything. But it was just never a big announcement that I was needing to make. However, I felt like at a certain point, red carpet things became complicated. Because? Because I'd go down the red carpet. If I went down the red carpet and he didn't go with me, it looked like a slight to him. Right. And if we went down the red carpet together, then it looked like we were making some sort of announcement. Uh -huh. And so it just always felt a little uncomfortable. Yeah. You know? And isn't it interesting, once you actually came out, that was like a... It's like a non-starter. Like you're one of the few actors who's been able to come out and absolutely nothing happened to your career. Everybody's so afraid of making that announcement or hmm. letting people know. Hmm. When Neil announced he was gay, some Hollywood insiders thought his admission would ruin his career. Instead, ratings for How I Met Your Mother continued to climb, and Neil went on to win two Emmy Awards. Were you affected at all? I think only positively, yeah. honestly. Yeah. It allowed me to... to live more full body and not feel like I was going to be exposed. I was kind of exposed. Mm -hmm. And you asked about the Perez per Hilton yeah, question Perez earlier. And I think the, the reason that I made the statement when I did was because was, he was the catalyst because yeah. what he had done was posted a request for anyone that had ever any scandalous stories or had slept with me or whatever to come forward and talk about it so that it would out me. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to have to make that statement about my sexuality in response to a scandal. And I think by doing so, I, I end up have, being able to stand a little bit taller. And, you know, that that transparency and authenticity was kind of appreciated.